Hi lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's get into your reading Libra. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month remaining of July 2021. Now your first card here is the Eight of Pentacles, the Fool card, the Nine of Swords, the Judgment card, and the Prince of Swords. Okay. All right, Libra. I see you guys really wanting to put effort and energy towards fixing this connection or the person that you're dealing with. I see you really putting effort or going above and beyond what is expected, uh, trying to balance this connection. However, I do see the partner dealing currently with a lot of new beginnings. It could be a new cycle. It can also represent them being a bit like distant for some of you guys. It could indicate almost a feeling of like them even when you have them there like feeling like they're not completely present i see them really up in the air being so much in their head and at this point i see you really being anxious or worrying about what's really going on i feel that they're not fully disclosing what's going on behind the scenes now with the nine of swords this is indicating to me stress anxiety and it's stress and anxiety in regards to a new beginning or a new opportunity that recently arose for them. So this could be because we do have the judgment card. It could be that the person that you were emotionally invested in or that you have been trying to um, work out this connection. I feel that they may be tempted. That's if they're not already dealing with the person from the past, only because we do have the judgment card here. And the judgment card indicates you know, the past re reoccurring or coming up and revisiting us. Um, and the full card does indicate the temptation to want to go back to seeing, can we work this out? Can we, you know, fix what has been broken? But again, the full is that of, they could be kind of like feeling like it's an opportunity, but in reality, um, because they're showing up as the full energy, it could be a mistake that is going to cost them greatly. And it could be at the expense of you completely walking away. That's if you haven't already created some type of distance or some type of blockage here of communication. Um, if you want me to be honest, what I'm seeing here for you guys is if you've been putting a lot of effort and energy trying to fix the relationship or trying to be patient with your partner because they're not forthcoming, they're not completely opening up, or they're not really uh, telling you, like I said, what's really on their mind. And there is almost like to the point of driving you insane, like you have gone over it in your head and you're trying to figure out like what I did wrong, what can I do better? You need to take a step back, Libra. There is a need for you to pull your energy back there is a need for you to really allow them. Okay, they don't want to communicate. They don't want to express what's going on with them. That's fine. Redirect the energy back to yourself, Libra. Start working on yourself. Start doing you. Because what they're showing me here is the more effort and energy that you put towards it and you don't see it better, it's driving you insane and it's really triggering you where it's bringing a lot of stress, a lot of worry. And while they're over here trying to figure out, should I give this person from the past an opportunity or can we work it out with them having you, you know, in the sidelines because they don't want to mess up the connection between you and them. But I feel that if they're willing to embrace a person from the past that, like I said, trying to rebuild something that is already broken, how long can that possibly last? Do you see what I'm saying? So it's about you understanding, okay, when do you get to the point of saying, I'm no longer going to put effort, I'm no longer going to drive myself crazy over analyzing, thinking it's something I have to do, or I have to work, or put more effort towards, when clearly the more you do, the less they appreciate. So you have to pull the energy back and make it about yourself. Start, start focusing on yourself. Start nurturing yourself. Um, if this is you, Libra, that is being tempted right now with dealing with someone from the past, 
understand that while you're giving the attention and effort towards that person from the past, that is not going to lead to anything serious. You're not going to be able to fix something that is broken. You are missing out on an opportunity with the person that you're currently with where they're going to wake up one day and they're going to realize, you know what, I deserve better and they're going to walk away. Because the Prince of Swords indicates to me the understanding you want to revisit the past, fine, go ahead. But if you revisit the past, be wise enough to know that you're taking an unnecessary risk that is not going to lead to anything. If anything, it's going to affect you because it's going to leave you feeling like you missed out on something that could have potentially become something more solid, but instead you were tempted to go back to the past. And if it's not you, it's your partner. If you feel like they've been drawing away or they are not present when they're around you or they're not communicating as they did in the past, it's because they are either dealing with someone from the past or thinking of dealing with someone from the past. Again, I ask you to really take your your energy back focus on yourself work on yourself um don't don't chase them okay don't make the mistake of wanting to hold on to them because the more you do the more they create distance if people are going to mess up let them mess up but you be wise enough to love yourself enough and know you deserve better and walk away from that all right my lovelies I wish you guys the best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.